It's the second shooting this week involving a Louisville Metro police officer. Police did give a new briefing just about 15 minutes ago. The night team's Tyler Emery has been on the scene since before 4 o'clock, and she is joining us live from Maple Court, where she's following the new information tonight. Tyler? Hey there, Doug. The scene is still unfolding with investigators out here on Ashland Avenue in front of the Louisville Fire Department um, Arson Bureau. And we're learning a lot more details about what happened now. I'll step out of the way so you can get a feel for what it's still like out here with many of the roads blocked. We are learning that this all started as arson investigators with the Louisville Fire Department were responding to reports of what they say was a domestic violence situation involving potential arson. The suspect then ran away from those investigators. That's when LMPD officers then arrived to help on scene and found the suspect in a nearby neighborhood. According to police, a struggle then took place with the suspect who police say had a knife. Officers then shot the suspect after they say they tried to use less lethal options of force. Both the suspect and an officer were taken to the hospital. No updates right now on their condition, but we do know that the officer suffered a head injury. Neighbors who were in the area when it happened tell me they saw the chase unfold. Almost immediately after I left, my friend texted me, just heard three shots. So it wasn't just a uh, run of the mill, somebody chasing after somebody, it got serious at the end. I, I guess I was in the middle of it, <laughs> which is kind of scary, um, but also it, it wouldn't be the first time you get some stuff like that happening around here. Um, it, it feels like it's amped up a little bit more since it's warmed up outside. Now, several neighbors say that they saw the chase go down Ashland here and turn down onto 5th Street. Police tell us the shooting then happened near 5th and Maple Court around 2.30 this afternoon. At this point, we don't know anything about the suspect's identity or the ex exact spot this all started. And of course, this is now the second officer involved shooting in just three days. Kentucky State Police will again, like the last one, be taking over this investigation as well. Live in the Beachmont neighborhood for WHS 11 News, I'm Tyler Emery.